All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. As usual, it is Wednesday. How you doing today, people? What do we do on Wednesdays in the cave, right? Everyone knows, right? It is Wanderlust Wednesday, where I present to you, we go through it every time, right? Maybe a band you've never heard of, because I got some obscure obscure bands up here. Uh, and at some point, maybe a deep cuts from bands you know. Every time I think I'm getting closer to doing deep cuts from bands you know, I look at my list, I check it twice, I go through my notes, and more stuff comes up. So I don't know, I got plenty of material. I'm not trying to stump you. It's not like I'm trying to say, hey, here's some really, some stuff you have absolutely never heard before. It's just stuff that I feel like one, it's music that I've liked at some point, if not for a long time in my life. Uh, and perhaps some people out there remember some of this stuff. And if they don't, maybe they'll enjoy it. So that's why we do what we do here in the cave day in and day out. And that's right. I've been posting a song of the day every day since April 5th, the pandemic. I missed one day. Early on, before I decided I would do a song every single day for one year. So that's my goal. And I got plenty to talk about because I looked at my list and I, I mean, it, my, my mind just goes crazy because I look and I'm like, how have I not covered this band or this song or this band or this band or this band? So if you're saying to yourself, man, he hasn't covered so-and-so, don't worry, I'm going to get to it. I mean, I haven't covered the Smiths. Uh, I mean, there's so many bands. I don't think I have a Depeche Mode episode. Uh, there's tons of metal acts I don't have. Anyway, the list is very long. So what are we talking about today? I, you know, I had a few choices for today, uh, and uh, this one's been sitting around for a while. These guys, you know, I, I've told you in the past that a lot of my musical taste comes from that epic radio station WPLR out of New Haven, Connecticut in the mid to late 80s. They were doing stuff that nobody was doing. Yes, we were listening to AQI's Rock Block Weekend. Yes, we were listening to HCN, Bacozzi and the Horn. We were doing all that stuff. But if you were listening to PLR, you were hearing stuff that you wouldn't hear anywhere else. And uh, it was just cool stuff. I mean, they just played some awesome stuff, right? So this is one of the bands that they played. And uh, I didn't know much about them. Uh, and they're a local band, basically. And uh, they would play two of their songs, at the very least two of their songs that I remembered a lot. And I bought their record in 1986, the year it came out. And I still have it to this day. And here they are. New Johnny Five. The same vinyl I got in 1986. The album is Alternative Tactics. Who are these guys? Well, these guys are three guys from, they're local. They're from uh, Groton, Connecticut, Salem, Mass. Uh, the late 70s, 78, they're put together a band. They're thinking they're going to do a top 40 music covers. Uh, and I got a lot of this information from one article because it's hard to find information. And this article uh, is just a few years old. So I'm glad that they wrote about it. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, they're going to be a top 40 cover band, rock band. Uh, but the lead singer, uh, his, he just couldn't sing Hotel California, Ken Atkins. He says, I couldn't do it couldn't sing that song so he blames the eagles uh, and then they said when well, they started you know they were going to shows and stuff and they said hey you know we saw this we, you know we saw other bands that are writing their own material why don't we just write our own material so that's what they started doing and uh you know they they actually had flirted with success they they uh they sound a little bit like you know their influences are like um the talking heads the clash depeche mode xtc they open up for bands like nxs Tears for Fears, Culture Club, Marshall Crenshaw. Uh, I mean, it looks sounds like they had some issues personnel-wise, or I don't know if it was management-wise, and some forward back, forward back. Uh, and they played their last show. I forgot to look this up. Someone's gonna have to tell me. I forgot to look this up. This up. They played their last show at the LNG Club, and I haven't heard the LNG Club since the name of that since the the late '80s. And I'm gonna kick myself for not looking it up. But I know I never went there. 
and it's not in New Britain, that was the Sting. Where was the LNG Club? I remember hearing ads for it, but someone out there who's a little bit older than me went to shows there and they're going to be able to tell me. But it turns out they played their last show there. Uh, not on purpose, they just never booked another gig, they said, which was kind of funny. Um, and then uh, 27 years later, or whatever it is, they, they get back together. They reunited in 2018 for an event in New London. Turns out they're all still kind of around. They're all they're all six members. It was there were six of them in total or amount around. Uh, the percussionist lives in Uncasville, uh, and uh, he has a roots band called Tone Shifter still to this day. Um, and they did their first gig in 28 years for this event uh, in New London in 2018. So I thought that was a pretty cool story. I'm going to post the story underneath this here so you can see where I got all my information from. But uh, I dig their music. I dig these two songs. I'm picking two songs to do. And uh, I don't know, it's fun. I mean, it asks, you know, you can tell it's 80s, but uh, I like the guy's voice. I like the, the, the music. Uh, and I got a little bit of everything in this music. I don't know, it's fun, it's good. And sorry for the quality of the music. I had to, uh, the only copy I have is of this vinyl. So I did find someone who uploaded the whole album on YouTube and you can listen to it with a little better quality, but it's just straight on through. So I did my best with the sound quality. So what are the two songs we're talking about today? Say by the Bell. Not to be confused with the TV show, Saved by the Bell, and Let Go. Those were the two songs they played on WPLR, and I just remember loving those songs. And I don't, It took me a while to find this record. I think I got this at uh, the college, what was the name of the record store? UConn, people. I don't remember. I got it at UConn, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a fun band. New Johnny Five. Uh, so check it out. Seven minutes. Wow, I didn't think I was going to do seven minutes on New Johnny Five. So check out these two songs. Tell me what you think. Does anybody remember this music, this band? I would love to co post below and tell me what you think. You know what you do on Wednesdays. You give it a shot and tell me what you think. So I'm going to cut it there. Uh, more stuff coming down the pike this week. Can't wait to do some more music. So have a great Wednesday. Save music venues, people. We can't wait. And we're back in concerts whenever that is. Make sure you go, 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 go see live music. All right. Have a great day. And as usual... I'll catch on the flip side.